Hi, I'm Jason. This video is on simultaneous move one-shot games. In simultaneous move one-shot games, you make decisions without knowing the action of your rival. This can be interpreted as either players making decisions at the same time, or players making decisions before knowing the decisions of their rivals. We usually write simultaneous move one-shot games in what is called the strategic or normal form. In this form, all the monetary or non-monetary outcomes are represented in a matrix. I'll now illustrate the normal form of the game with a game called The Prisoner's Dilemma. The Prisoner's Dilemma is a classic simultaneous move one-shot game. A pair of criminals have been captured following a crime. The police have sufficient evidence to convict them of a minor crime, for example, trespass, but insufficient evidence to convict them of the major crime that has occurred, for example, theft of the crown jewels. The police place each prisoner in a separate cell where they cannot communicate with each other. The police then offer both prisoners a deal. Confess, and they will let them go free despite the minor crime, but they will then have the evidence required to give their criminal partner a massive sentence for the serious crime. If neither confesses, the police will have insufficient evidence to get a conviction for the major crime, so they'll both receive a short sentence for the minor crime. If both confess, they'll both get a longer sentence, but with some reduction in sentence relative to if they didn't confess. The normal form of the game is as follows. Prisoners A and B have two actions available, to confess and to stay silent. The numbers in the matrix represent the payoffs from each combination of actions. In this case, the number of years they will serve in prison. A higher number is therefore a worse outcome. The left number in each cell of the matrix represents the payoff to the row player, prisoner A. The number on the right of each matrix cell is the payoff to the column player, prisoner B. For example, if both prisoner A and prisoner B choose to confess, they each receive a prisoner's prison sentence of five years. If prisoner A confesses and prisoner B remains silent, prisoner A gets off with a, without a prison sentence, whereas prisoner B gets 20 years. Equipped with the normal form of the game, we can determine what each player wants to do in response to each action of the other player. For example, we can see that if prisoner B confesses, prisoner A can either confess and receive five years in prison or remain silent and receive 20 years in prison. They would choose to confess. We indicate the preferred action in response to another player's action by circling the relevant payoff. If prisoner B remains silent, prisoner, B, prisoner A could either confess and escape without sentence or remain silent and receive a sentence of one year in prison. They will prefer to confess. We can then work through the same process for prisoner B's actions. If prisoner A confesses, prisoner B can either confess and receive five years in prison or remain silent and receive 20 years in prison. They will choose to confess. If prisoner A remains silent, prisoner B could either confess and escape without a sentence or remain silent and receive a sentence of one year in prison. They will prefer to confess. Indicating this set of preferred actions in response to that of the other player gives us this completed matrix. Before examining that matrix further, I will now introduce the concept of the dominant strategy. A strategy is dominant if it gives a higher payoff than every other strategy for every strategy that your rivals play. A strategy is strictly dominant if it gives a strictly higher payoff than every other strategy for every strategy that your rivals play. If you have a strictly dominant strategy, you should play it for sure. In a dominant strategy equilibrium, all players choose a dominant strategy. In the prisoner's dilemma, both players have a dominant strategy to confess. No matter what the other player does, confessing is better than remaining silent. Another important concept is the Nash equilibrium. A set of strategies is a Nash equilibrium if every player is playing a best response to their rival's strategies. No one has an incentive to change strategy. A Nash equilibrium is self-enforcing and stable. If the players agree to play a certain way, they'll both go through with it. Unilateral deviations are not worthwhile. The Prisoner's Dilemma has a single Nash equilibrium. Confess, confess. Visually, where the preferred response of both players to the other player's actions falls within the same cell, this indicates a Nash equilibrium.